Authorities told local media that a 10-year-old boy was killed by flying debris Wednesday morning in Fort Morgan, Alabama, the first death attributed to Tropical Storm Cindy. The child died of injuries suffered when an object was blown onto him by the Tropical Storm's strong winds, according to WKRG.com. The Coast Guard responded to the scene, but few other details were immediately available. Officials from Texas to Florida warned residents to take the impacts of Tropical Storm Cindy seriously as the system began to batter the coast with heavy rain, and the National Weather Service said life-threatening flash flooding will be brought ashore by the storm. Photos posted to social media Wednesday morning showed flooding on Lakeshore Drive at Lake Pontchartrain in New Orleans. Coastal flooding along the along the Gulf Coast closed several roads. Winds from Cindy began to impact Louisiana on Tuesday, with light roof damage reported in Plaquemines, according to the NWS. There were also reports of shingles blown off of homes. In the southern portion of the Bayou State, emergency management officials from several parishes met to discuss preparations for the heavy rainfall expected to be the biggest threat for most in the path of the storm, according to the New Orleans Advocate. We learned from last year's floods that even unnamed storms can be devastating, Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards said in a statement. On Wednesday morning, Edwards declared a state of emergency foe.